Julie, as we sit here on the eve of your 400th game milestone, you've achieved a lot in your career. Did you ever think you'd reach this milestone? Oh, definitely not. When I look back to when we started and the growth of the sport and all the wonderful experiences I've had, I never dreamt that I'd be here for 400. Take us back to the start. What was it about coaching that really enticed you and has kept you in the game for so long? Oh, look, I think I started coaching when I was very young and coaching little kids and I just loved it. And then I got to grow up with those teams and grow up with the sport and I've always loved every minute of it and I'm grateful that I still do. We know your uh, coaching roles have changed over time. What have, what, how have your coaching philosophies changed? Oh, I think even the generations have changed. So you've had to keep changing your philosophy and your outlook and the way you do things. And I think that's what keeps you interested and hopefully keeps your players interested as well. You want to look to be changing and developing. You spoke about the growth of the sport. I bet back then you couldn't have imagined where the sport would be nowadays. Definitely not. I can remember being so excited when someone offered to pay me $1,000 for a season and thinking that we'd really made it. So I didn't think that I'd be around long enough to see it grow to the professional level that it is today. And I'm excited by the fact that I know it's going to continue to grow long after I'm gone. You've been involved in so many different coaching accomplishments. What do you look back on most fondly? Um, Certainly the premierships and particularly the first premiership, it was so very special. We tried for so many years to reach that pinnacle and when we won our first premiership it was very, very exciting. I've always enjoyed the time that I've got to spend in the international scene with different coaches because that was such a growth area for us. But I think more than anything it's all the people that you've met and the great players that you've coached and all of those things. We speak about your Giants journey, it's only in its eighth year now, but we know how excited you were to be able to come over and, and start a club. It must have been a completely different challenge to what you'd had uh, in your career up until that point. Yeah, it was. Like, I was around when the Swiss started, but it seemed to be a very different thing to creating something from scratch. And as I've often said, when I got here, we didn't have a name, we didn't have a colour, we didn't have any players. All we had was me. And putting that together was one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it was also one of the most exciting and I loved every minute of it. Obviously, you've met a whole lot of people, a whole lot of coaches in your coaching journey. What is it about the, the people in netball that, that keep you wanting to, to continue in the sport? I think netball people make really good friends. You seem to attract people who are humble and loyal and great companions and good company. And I've definitely made some wonderful friends throughout the sport and I cherish all of those. When you talk about starting the Giants, where do you think this club can get to? Oh, I think the heights are endless because there's so many great people driving it. Um, every, at every level, there's people who are behind this club that are helping us improve and grow every year. Let's take uh, us back to the beginning of this season. We know it's been a season with, with its ups and downs. Does it continue to challenge you as a coach even now? Oh, without a doubt. I think this has been one of the most challenging seasons I've had to go through. And one of the reasons it's been so challenging is because the girls have worked so hard and they've stuck together and they've tried so hard to be better every week. And you really wanted to see them get the rewards. When you see it start to change, the last couple of weeks has been some really strong performances, particularly last weekend. Does it make you still feel like there's plenty to achieve out of this season? Yeah, I think people forget. We've got some older and more experienced players in there, but five of our players are 23 and under. So we're still very much a developing side and there's a lot of room for growth in there and I think that's really exciting. When you get the opportunity to coach people like Joe Harton and Jamie Lee Price, you, you also spent time with in New Zealand and then on the weekend we get to see someone like Charlie Fiddler debut for the first time. It, it must make you really appreciate the role that you can play in, in all of these different players' careers. Yeah, I think so. I think I really do treasure that. I think you definitely have more influence on players than what they develop in the court and I really enjoy that side of it. And I love seeing young players achieve and seeing Charlie make her do boo, see Erin get her first start and just the development in some of the younger players in our squad. That's what it's all about. That's what makes it so rewarding. We've seen your coaching milestones come here at the Giants, your 300th, your 350th, now your 400th game. What's this week like for you for someone who probably doesn't like to talk about their career too much. <laughs> um, it is funny, like the kids keep saying to me that I should embrace it and acknowledge it and be proud of it. And I got a lovely message last night that said, you don't get to 400 by accident, so you should really relish it. But I just don't want anything to detract from the fact that we've got to put out the best performance that we possibly can. And very often milestone games can take over from your focus. So I'm very determined that it won't. The game against the Thunderbirds is what I care about this week. So let's talk about the game against the Thunderbirds. A great opportunity to be back here at home in front of a home crowd, take on the reigning premiers. What do you want to see from the girls this weekend? Just that continued improvement. I feel 
in most cases we've got a little bit better every week and we're certainly going to have to be a little bit better this week. I think they're in awesome form watching them play last week. You had to admire their ability. So we're very aware that we'll have to step up. We'll continue to talk about your milestone and maybe let you continue to coach, but what, what will this weekend mean for your family particularly? I think it means a great deal to them. They quite surprise me how excited they are about it. And I'm just so grateful for them because they've been there for every 400 matches. Even when I was in New Zealand, I very rarely didn't have someone in the crowd from home. So I'm really, really grateful for the support that the kids have given me all the way through. Congratulations with the buck this weekend. Thank you.